Hey guys, part two of Santiago's journey to get better in my office. He was a construction worker, fell off a 16-foot ladder, knees, ankles, and back all hurting, and a weird bladder thing that started. We found out he was in this fight, really bad one, that he was in the hospital for a month after getting hit by these guys at 50 years old. Found our YouTube channel. Here you can see his knees, his ankles, and his back. 38 millimeter imbalance in his neck from his x-rays. We did some sinus work in part two. We also did some clavicle work. We adjusted his neck. You'll see it all. Check it out. About three years ago, I fell from the ladder. Gotcha. And I lose balance and... Um, and how much slower are you now? I'm like, uh, probably 60%. Wow, that's slow. Slower, yeah. Wow. Uh, most of it is on, on my lower back, my knee, and my ankle. It feels like the bones are separating. Yeah. It feels very weak. Gotcha. Sometimes I can't walk, sometimes it makes some sounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, I need to take a little a little break sometimes. Yeah. Do you use a crutch too? Yeah. You do actually? No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> once in a while. You actually sometimes do sometimes. I need to hang on the walls. Wow, wow, I'm wow. getting tired. Ever since he fell on the leg, he has trouble with his bladder, going urination. Uh, it really hurts, basically. Across your stomach? Yeah, across my across stomach. You. Tell us about your speech, speech pattern. Speech pattern. Well, yeah, um, when I'm in a conversation, it it makes it like really difficult to to have a conversation with people and tell us which much knee hurts here which knee <sighs> the left one the left by how much about six about six and how about the back when you do that any pain in the back when you do that oh yeah the, the back around seven how's your left ankle three i f i feel this weaker hey guys we have 38 millimeter right imbalance 18 millimeter lower right shoulder and 13 degree scoliosis here we have 13 degree scoliosis five millimeter right short leg high neck reversal one half atlas wear on this one and l5 arthritis poor balance and constipation he got beaten up on the streets in mexico yeah yeah and so this was years ago how long ago when i was 15 years old he got punched in the face multiple times and he just told me this right now basically that's that's the main reason I'm here because um, in my country, if you don't involve yourself in a gang, let's say they call it maras, if you don't do what they say, if you don't become part of their, their members, the gang member, they can kill you. Why didn't you just join and say, I'm going to join because I don't want to get hurt? That's not the type of love I wanted yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. myself. Yeah. How long have you been in the hospital for? For a month. You've been here one week. This is the beginning of the second week. So tell us how this one week of treatment has changed you. It's hard for me to explain it with uh, words. Just how you want to explain it. I just have the feeling it improves my life in many sense. Um, as um, proof of it, you can distinguish the difference of my voice between last week and now. Sometimes it feels like a piece of paper being blown by the wind. That's how I'm feeling my body. and. It's been more um, effective because it makes me uh, have more um, control of my thoughts, like working. I have a lot of pressure on myself. I need to do a lot of things, and that has helped. So we're going to get his atlas just today, and you're going to watch me work on his sinuses. Uh, we're going to move the sinuses so we create more volume in there, so we can get more air in there. And so just watch. Come look closer, please. So just do the best you can, Santiago, to just allow this to happen. How you doing right now? Not too bad? No. Okay, breathe in your nose, deep breaths in your nose, please. So right now I'm working on the frontal sinuses, guys. Good. We got one more spot. Stay right there on the camera. This is the one I thought would hurt a lot. How's this? Not Less as bad? Than the first okay, one. okay. Breathe in the nose. And breathe out. Good. You can see how his nose is broken here, guys, too. See how it's twisted right here? You can actually see that. Come this way. Come this way. Good. How'd that feel, sir? Oh, good. <laughs> Was that different than the other adjustments? Yes. The feeling that I had is the, the, the same feeling of kind of a wavy... Uh, to the whole body. ...reaction of my body starting from here. Oh, my back, too. With all the instructions that you've been uh, giving us, uh, like my personal experience is that learning how how to um, guide my body to um, to get the best uh, result. I walked a lot yesterday in the afternoon, and I 
I started learning uh, basically little by little the perfect position for my body in order not to, in order to enjoy what I'm doing and that has been um, uh, part of the um, improvement okay. <laughs> I love this guy <laughs> yeah I love when a plan comes together yeah after my treatment yesterday I had to do something related to work and um, when I was climbing the ladder I did a bad move and um, also after that I went uh, back home I could say the office I started doing some uh, some work at the computer and um, that's when I have I uh, got more feeling that kind of the pain coming back on my neck it's getting so much better that he stopped he's not thinking me about me quite as much because he's like I got to get to work I got to do some stuff I got to get my work done and he's not having any pain so he's going back and doing all these bad habits that did what brought it back yeah. So anyways, that was the point. So, uh, adjustment you did on my on my left chest that really worked. Good. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Beat up when he was 15. The more we've talked about that, the more we find out that there's a lot more to it than just that. So I'm gonna work on his clavicle here, guys. Oh, yeah. He loves that one. <laughs> and now this one he loves even more. Watch this, guys. So right now I'm working on this pec minor, guys, which is the muscle that works on his scapula to attach his scapula to his front of his body. What do you feel right now, Santiago? You feel something down your arm? A lot of pain. A lot of pain, right? Yeah. Breathe in your nose. Out your mouth. Freshness to to the body. Yeah. Completely it changes. It's totally light. Yeah. yeah, and it feels lighter than the other adjustments I did, right? Yes. And the reason is, because I didn't realize this, and the notes helped me figure this out, is that he has an issue. We talked about, again, this, he said when he was in that brawl when he was younger, they pulled on his arms, they wrenched this whole side, so there's more to the shoulder than I thought. And the way he writes exacerbates that old injury. And so by working on this, it directly relieves all this pressure here. So I'm gonna adjust him to the chair, and then we'll lay him on the table and we'll do his shoulder again. Actually, stay right here. I'm going to adjust your left shoulder here first. Okay. So come a little closer. That's this one. Relax. Bend your elbow. Bend your elbow. No bend. Yeah. Just relax. Relax. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Excellent. Let's go this way. Good. Nice. It was an amazing work. It has changed my life and bring it to normal. This is, um, I'm talking about my life before this happened five years ago and um, I'm going back home with um, my leg fi being fixed and not only that but the effects that was caused by by the damage that I got. The damage yeah the fight and all that stuff yeah. yes. It's a lot better <clears throat> much more better I can concentrate on more on my work there's no more pain to to like kind of uh, spend my energy on and my mind so I can I can do my stuff there's no more pain the weakness of my leg is like only 10 percent from the 100 percent before give up a job twenty thousand dollar job or something because he couldn't work right yes it was really hard i couldn't i couldn't run with them because as <clears> soon as <throat> i do that it's trying to bring my life to normal it was not possible because yeah. the the damage was really big it's been a wonderful experience for me to have him here um, it's always fun to have somebody who works with you and appreciates what you do so he's been very very nice about it like 98 percent now gotcha your left knee how much better is your knee oh it's i have i my knee is back there again again there's no more pain on it pain in the traps up here uh, and the neck is fine. <laughs> he had bladder issues yes every time he went i forgot about this because we solved it so quickly so tell us how that's different I totally forgot about this it's totally different it's yeah. not there anymore it used to hurt there was a pain all the time here and and my experience, uh, really, uh, if um, um, people are having chance to watch this video, I would recommend him. I w wouldn't hesitate to recommend him. He did. He does great job. Mm. He knows what he does, and um, try it. Don't stay there in that condition because maybe it has something. It's something that it's. You can give a solution to it. Uh, okay. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent.
good. He absolutely hates this. <clears throat> Tension is pectoralis minor is really so tight that it's going to be an issue. You're Thank wonderful. you. You're a wonderful Thank human you. being, and we really, I really enjoyed having you here.